Oh, okay. We are on the ward. Elin is here. I'm touching her face. Hi, girl. I'm going to turn the camera to her in a moment, but I'm just sorting out her evening medicines now, and I've picked up them on one of these. It is evening and we're gonna to start to wind down for the night. We're gonna do all the evening medicines, have a bit of a snuggle. Uh, I may watch probably some Grey's Anatomy. It's likely to be some Grey's Anatomy, yes. Uh, and then get music on and then hopefully settle early for the night. She's had a super duper 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 good day. So, what have we been doing? Where was I at? I cannot remember. I cannot remember what I filmed earlier today. Wow. Um, but Eileen did get into her wheelchair down in HDU, and she did a good forty-five minutes in her chair. Yes. Day after surgery, forty-five minutes. She did so well, so 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 well. And. Um, we got discharged up to the ward and we have had uh, all kinds of discussions around our feeding schedule and the fluid schedule and um, just in general about plan and I wanted to try her on peptide feed today and maybe even on a bit of food. We've not made it to a bit of food but we have made it to apple puree. Watered down uh, and that's a good start. She's tolerated it all very well. We've not had any vomits. Um, then when we were up on the ward, uh, she did get very upset just before we left HDU and uh, gave me quite strong painkiller, not painkillers, pain signals. We gave her quite strong painkillers, uh, but she gave me quite strong pain signals. And uh, she was very unhappy. And then she calmed down on the walk up here and then she got upset again and she needed a big rest. But after that, she got into her wheelchair again and she spent one and a half hours in her wheelchair. We got, we went into the playroom and read a book and we played some Scrabble and we did some word searches. Honestly, I'm just looking for things to talk to her about um, to kind of keep her mind off the fact that she's in the wheelchair. Um, yes. I have to admit, it's not been the most exciting day for me. Uh, I am still in the clothes that I wore yesterday coming into hospital and I slept in. I slept in jeans. I cannot wait to get into my PJs. And um, I feel my lower back, my lower back is twinging and I have not slept well and I'm kind of, I'm so over this. I am so over this, Eileen. Do you hear me? Little, little whinge, a little whinging. <laughs> I'm, I'm a resident of Little Whinging tonight. Yeah, it's a good joke. It's a good Harry Potter joke. Eileen. God, I wish I had the camera on her. She's so cute. She really is, she's so cute. Um, yeah, not very much has been going on. Oh, I've eaten. I've actually eaten today, not just snacks. Um, another, another admission, another confession. Yesterday, I did not have a proper meal, the whole day. We were up so early in the morning, so I had a, uh, I had a, a protein bar in the car coming here and then it was all Eileen, all Eileen, all Eileen and then Eileen into surgery and that was a little bit too early for me to eat lunch and so I snacked and then lunchtime I needed to go down to recovery so I didn't eat then. Instead I went to recovery to look after Eileen mm -hmm. and then it was HDU and it was all Eileen and it was all Eileen and uh, eventually I had I had a bag of beef jerky and I had some bags of crisps because that counts as a rose dinner, doesn't it, people? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so not, uh, not, 
not an ideal food situation for me yesterday. And I, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> <coughs> choking on my own saliva here, really. <coughs> and my water bottle's empty. There, wow. Whereas today, I have most definitely been snacking a lot today, but I had a toast with butter and marmalade for breakfast. I had a, a bowl of couscous with tuna and salsa for lunch. Uh, if you saw my packing vlog, then you saw that I basically planned for food options that did not need to go in the fridge because there's not an awful lot of space in the parent fridge here. I know, sweetie. I know, we're here. And I'm going to turn the camera to you in just a moment. Let me just give you the omeprazole because I've given you ibuprofen right now and you don't have a lot in your tummy to work with that. I know, I know. Um. Oh, I would love to dissolve this a bit more. What am I going to do? Then I had Eileen's dinner, uh, which felt ridiculous because uh, I'd ordered... Uh, I'd ordered some food off the puree menu, the, the hospital puree menu for her, but ultimately she was not quite ready to have actual food today, so I ate her puree, so I had baby food for dinner. That's what I had, and now I'm blocking this tube, no I'm not, yay, no tube blockage, yay me. I have actually eaten today, which feels really good. But I think the last several nights are now starting to catch up with me and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sorry for myself. Hello. Oi. Okay. I think we can do this nice and slow, don't you? Yeah. Shall we do the applesauce? Uh, yes, yeah, so. A few main considerations of today. Um, top of my priority list, stay on top of Eileen's pain. That's sort of been the most important for me. Uh, build up her tolerance for sitting in her wheelchair. Making sure that she uh, gets adequate amounts of fluid into her body to maintain uh, correct fluid levels, fluid balance. So uh, we are measuring how much is going in and also how much she's weighing. And she's having nice wet pads, uh, so the output is really good. The input has been a little on the low side, which means that I am gonna have to run some feeds overnight, which is something I hate doing. But at the same time, you know, I didn't wanna overload her system throughout the day today. And we are in a hospital and there are people here who can look after her and um, one thing they're actually really good at here is this whole idea of mum you need some rest mum you need a break and uh, i have very much been glued to Eileen's side um, she's not wanted to let me go i've not been allowed to sleep uh, by myself i've had to be next to her and that's probably why my lower back is hurting um but yeah fluid levels been really important and then one thing that the paediatrician has been very, uh, has felt is very important as well is to get Eileen's bowel movements going. And uh, she's been a little bit concerned that Eileen hasn't opened her bowel since, uh, what, for two days. Uh, but she had a good listen to her tummy earlier. And there are some soft murmurs going on there, soft stomach sounds saying, I'm working, I'm doing something. And her stomach is really soft and it's not distended it doesn't feel um, compacted impacted what is the right word um, so actually we probably don't really have anything to worry about there but she is on laxatives now because we obviously need to make sure that things go through so those have been the main considerations of today and and also one of the reasons why no matter what the surgeons were saying, I was absolutely not going to stress Eileen out. Uh, it would be nice to get her home tomorrow, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. Absolutely not the end of the world if we do not get home tomorrow. We can stay here. 
we need to make sure that little miss is, is doing all right. And it is a long car journey home. It is an hour if the M1 is running. And the M1 isn't necessarily running smoothly. Yeah, so that's that's where we're at. That's it's it's that's been our day. Not the most exciting of days, and she has been very very upset from time to time, and she's been really alert and happy uh, and calm from time to time. So it's it's actually been it's been I mean beyond expectations. You're doing all right. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I've brushed your teeth. Was it nice to get clean teeth? Gotta tell you, your breath smelled. My breath probably smells. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping for a very calm and settled, settled evening and night. We both need some good sleep. What is marginally frustrating is that she's not under one-to-one -one care on the ward <laughs> which means that we just have to wait longer for things or i have to make things happen and it was it was really funny because our nurse came in uh, a little while ago and said uh mom has she had her evening medicines and i went no she hasn't because uh i've not been given the syringes <laughs> and she's like oh my god i'm so sorry and i'm like well to be fair the the, the syringe storage is right outside this door I could have gone out and gotten them myself and I have been sitting here for an hour scrolling through Facebook. And she's like, yeah, but mom, you need to spend that hour scrolling through Facebook. Again, they are good like that. Um, but yeah, that kind of thing has been not very, it, it's less consistency up here because there isn't one person assigned to her and in her room at all times. Um, apart from me, obviously. And also I needed to call the nurses earlier and uh, because she was in pain and she was very upset and uh, it took it took a good few minutes before somebody mosted on in here um, and went what do you need and I was like I need some pain relief oh I can't see the nurse and then it it took a, a good 10 more minutes before uh, a nurse came in uh, with some paracetamol um, <laughs> Another big win of today is that she has not had any morphine since midday and it's now seven o'clock at night. <coughs> That's right. You're doing much better. And if you need morphine tonight, you can have some. And we're going to make sure that you get your paracetamol and ibuprofen overnight as well. Yeah, we're going to have a word with the night team about that, that they're just going to come in and give it. We're going to leave the tube in place. Yeah? Is that what we're gonna do? Mm hmm. She did have one big seizure when we were out on our little walk in the wheelchair. Um, but she self settled from that. And that's the only one. The whole day she's only had one seizure that I've noticed. And as you can hear now, she's a bit chatty. Are you telling the vlog about things? Do you have something you want to say? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hey! Are you talking to me? She doesn't get that reference, she doesn't think it's funny. Little whinging was funny, mummy. Taxi driver, I don't get it. Harry Potter, I get. Yeah, Robert De Niro not so much. Besides, Mummy, your Robert De Niro impression is atrocious. Was that yummy? Was that nicey nummy nummies in your tummy? You're gonna say, yummy, 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 I got food in my tummy. Oh, I can feel this belly working. I can feel it working. Going, oh, stuff, stuff to digest. Can I remember how to do this? Yeah. It's a cute little belly. It's the cutest little belly I know. Is it a ticklish belly? Ticky, 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 ticky. Ticky, 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 ticky. Ticky, 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 ticky. Yeah. 
I don't know if you saw that she lifted her leg up here as well. So the fact that she's now independently moving her legs is a really, really positive sign. So I'm super proud. I am. I'm super proud of how well she's doing. And uh, all the doctors are really pleased with how well she's doing as well. Yes, they are. We're all very proud of you. Daddy's been very grateful to hear how well you're doing. Caitlin's been really grateful to hear how well she, you're doing and she's gone, oh my god, I can't believe she looks so good. Yeah, I can't believe you look so good either. I really can't. This is, this is, she's, yeah, wow. Just wow, is all I can say. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Mm. So tomorrow we're going to try some food. And yeah really take it as it come take take it as it comes is the expression <laughs> can i get my worms out and i think Ellen and i are gonna have a nice calm little cuddle over medicines now oh and i need to go and fill up my water bottle so i might ask somebody to either fill it up for me or come and sit with her uh, while i go and fill it up oh it, <clears throat> I, I i need this on I need, I need this on. I can't, I can't chop it off. I mean, we are at an orthopaedic hospital. They could amputate it and just leave it here. Should we call Miss Tennant? Say, can you amputate mummy's arm so you can stay around me? I want to keep it here. I hold your hand in mine, dear. I press it to my lips. I take a healthy bite from your dainty fingertips. My joy would be complete, dear, if you were only here. But still I'll keep your hand as a precious souvenir. The night you died, I cut it off. I really don't know why. What was that melody? Because now each time I kiss it, I get blood stains on my tie. My, I'm sorry now I killed you, for our love was something fine. But till they come and 